Okay, so here is a quick demo on how to use Wireshark to decrypt uh, uh, traffic encrypted with the uh, SSL protocol or also known as TLS or, and therefore that includes traffic encrypted with HTTPS because it is using TLS. So normally this sort of traffic cannot be decrypted because you don't, uh, you, you don't have access to the private keys. Uh, but in this case it will work. It's not a man in the middle attack, but it will work because we will be the client. So we are one end of the communication. And obviously if our browser can decrypt that, then there must be other ways to decrypt that. Basically, this works because during the TLS handshake, the client and the server agree to a secret key, which is then used to encrypt further communication. Normally, this key will be just temporarily stored in memory, but there is a way to tell Windows and subsequently to tell the browser to store this key also in a file. And then we will feed this file to Wireshark and then it can use it, it can find the key in there to use it to decrypt the traffic. So how we do it, we, we go to the control panel of Windows. This is Windows 10, but it will work with earlier versions, obviously, uh, or future versions as well. So we go to system, uh, then we go to advanced system settings. We want to set a new environment variable. There's a button here, and these are the variables set for now. I need a new one. And it has to have a specific name. The name is SSL, SSL key log file. And then as a value, it needs to have the path where to store the keys, which file to store it to. So I'm going to use this path. Uh, it doesn't have to be this path. It can be anything else. But I like this one because it's in my, uh, my own folder. And so other users in the machine cannot see it. So click OK here. Click OK everywhere, really. And that's it. We're done with the control panel. Now we can open Chrome and go and visit an encrypted website. We're going to go to vsoc.napier.ac.uk. That is an encrypted connection. It's using HTTPS. It's not an authenticated one. This is why it's red and it doesn't, Chrome doesn't like it. But it is encrypted. So, uh, so we did in that second between me pressing enter in the in the location bar and actually seeing something on the screen in that half a second there has been a TLS exchange uh, and the, the browser my browser and the server on the other side have agreed to a secret key and they are using it to encrypt everything that I'm now seeing on the screen so uh, as I said this key has now been captured and is hopefully available on that file, on that path that we set before. To double check that, we can open that file with Notepad. Uh, so open that path. And indeed, you can see here, it has captured plenty of information. Uh, this is basically multiple keys that it has captured. Each one of these somewhere, somewhere is the key. Uh, I don't necessarily uh, want to know wh where exactly, which one of this is the key. You can look this up and you will find exactly which byte is the key and which one is uh, random numbers or other information that is needed. So we have confirmed that the keys are stored, uh, the session keys that is, and therefore I can now go to Wireshark and I can tell it where to find the keys. So I went to uh, uh, Edit and then Preferences and then I open the protocol and it's got settings for all protocols here. If you find SSL and you set, you, 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 you type the path that the key is stored into this field, you could also click browse, but um, if you, you know, you're going to have to find it and so on. So I'm, I'm, I'm using it just from, from the clipboard just now. Uh, so apply this, OK, and now it's all set. So now what I want to do, I want to start the capture. Start it, and then I'll tab to uh, my browser and refresh this connection. It probably did another handshake now. Uh, so let's go back to Wireshark, close 
this uh, stop this capture and go to the very top of it we got lots of stuff that were not relevant and somewhere near the top you would be seeing these client hello packets these are TLS TLS v 1.2 doing the original uh, the exchange that it does in the very beginning and what we're looking to find is we're looking to find the last uh, packet with info like this server hello certificate server key exchange server hello done so i'm looking for the last one uh, which one could be okay that's probably this one and then after that i am looking for uh all right so there's too many packets here let me set a filter i want to set a filter to filter ssl traffic only okay now much better now uh so last one is this and then i'm looking for uh now that i uh, finished here okay uh sorry i said it wrong before i'm looking for the last of this kind uh, this info client key exchange change, change cipher spec finished which one is the last uh done 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 finished done, done. well okay well like, i could i could i don't necessarily need the last it's just easier if you find the last oh Ah, then that's not that's not a very good example anyway let's say that was the last and then one one need after is uh after it has finished an exchange then i'm looking for a packet with ssl segment of a reassembled pdu and once you choose basically any of these all right any of these would have uh, a few extra tabs that are not always here so see on this packet there's no tabs here on the bottom but on the one I'm looking for, there's a few extra tabs here. And the, you can click the decrypted SSL data tab and you will see decrypted data. Now I scroll down and we also saw some gibberish. This is because this is probably some sort of image. So although it's decrypted, but it's still, it's still kind of binary. So you don't actually see it. Uh, let's see what it is. The keep alive connection frame, blah blah blah. Software Adobe. Uh, see, so it's a binary file, okay? XMP and so on. But clearly, it is decrypted as opposed to the frame payload, which is completely encrypted and quite, uh, quite more random, random. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's that. And actually, if I if I look uh, more carefully into my trace, I will probably be able to find the original exchange now there you go so this is the original http response get slash uh, blah 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 uh, and it's getting the slash of the server i can also right click and now i have an option follow ssl stream which i can also choose and as you see is the whole stream decrypted with my uh, images that's a png file and so on um that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next video.